Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We are going to be discussing about the fuel cap issue on a 2006 Chevy HHR with 2.4 LT. Um, the problem is, is that we all know that the Chevy HHRs have gas cap issues. And um, we're going to talk about the Stant brand from Morales, which is the cheapest brand of gas caps you can buy there and talking about the original gas cap um, this is the one I bought with a car over a year ago never had any problems with it um, I posted a video last year about how my um, screen on my dash kept telling me to check my uh, fuel cap saying it was leaking vapor so I tried tightening it up and it worked for like a day or two and the light kept telling me there was something wrong with the gas cap and there wasn't it was my charcoal canister was completely clogged all the charcoal was pouring out the lines were clogged I had to replace that and plus the uh, the, the um, vapes plus the vent solenoid had to be replaced on it as well and haven't had any problems using the original gas cap so as of yesterday the last couple of days my gas cap I mean my light came my not my light my uh screen told me to check the gas cap after I filled up I thought that maybe my gas cap was actually leaking vapor or maybe it wasn't tight enough I tightened took it off retightened it and it seemed to work for a couple of days came back on again um so I tried tightening up again, didn't have any problems. I reset the computer just to be sure it wasn't a fault. There was no light though indicating anything. And and it never came back on. I went to the beach today. On my way there, my engine light actually came on. I'm uh, saying I had a few codes. Well, the codes didn't pop up until I had to replace it with the stamp brand gas cap. Now, if y'all are wondering, I think this one has an actual part number. This is the part number that I bought for the 2006 Chevy HHR with a 2.4 liter motor in it. Um, I bought it because I thought there was a problem with this one. But here, we're going to show y'all what the downfall is here. Hold on, let me get it out. Here's the brand new one. Okay. And as you can tell, this one here is a little bigger, at least I thought so, from the, this is the original one, this is the aftermarket stamp one. As you can tell, the stamp one on the left, which is the white one, is actually bigger and doesn't have this notch. And as you can look at the seals, this seal's higher up, fatter, and this one's lower down, but not as fat. So the weird thing is, when I put this gas cap on, I don't smell any fuel at all coming out of it. This is how I know that, because when I installed this, the light went out, and I didn't have any gas cap issues. And today, I kept smelling very, very fresh, unleaded gas. Kind of felt like I had a leak while I was driving down the road. Thought that, because the wind was blowing really heavy, thought that because of the gas stations around, you know, how ga unleaded gas... You know the fumes are in the air so but for like 30 minutes 30 45 minutes driving I kept smelling it only when I was at like an idle or at a certain speed but then it would go away so when I got out of my car when I got to the beach today I smelled this and it smelled like very strong unleaded gas and you can smell it from the outside before you even open this up and so I tried tightening it up again it seemed not to it seemed to solved the issue at then it came light came back on and said that my map sensor was uh was was bad or had a bad or had a circuit problem then my car started shifting really bad it kept saying i had a uh evaporator leak and usually when that light pops up it's usually with the if i think correctly i think it was the p0118 code i think it is don't get me wrong um for the map sensor going off it also said that this was leaking. But it's weird because when I put this gas cap on, once the aluminum will say check gas cap. 
but you will smell no feel at all with this one on here. So I'm thinking this seal is good. Put this one on. All you smell is very strong, fresh, unleaded gas from the inside of the car and outside. But the check engine light doesn't come on. So I'm thinking that, so I called the auto parts store, which is over Allies, and they said this is the only one they carry in stock. And they said with a certain number they had from the original gas cap, this one actually fits. So I got to take it back tomorrow, let them know what's going on. Now, if I put this back on and the light goes out for reset and it's come on for a couple of days, then I know the gas cap's the problem for both ends. I'm not saying it is, but if, it, if it's not, then I'm going to have to replace the map sensor. Um... Just be sure that you get the right gas cap because you can see how this groove here it's like a it's it's like a weird shape there oval shape and you get the same thing on this side well when you look at this one this one's got a different like a triangle shape like that so I don't know I don't know because I've had a problem before where they sold me the wrong gas cap or they also had it before where they put the wrong gas cap in the box and it wasn't even the right one that was in this box. They had to give me the right one. So I don't know if they did that to me again or not. So please be aware when you buy the stamp brands. I've had a problem with Chevy Cruises in the past and other Chevy models where these gas cats would never work right. The light stays on. You smell fuel or it keeps saying check gas cap. I'm not saying it's always a gas, gas cap issue because it also could be your charcoal canister. If you never replaced your charcoal canister, that's the first place I would look, look before you keep going to the auto parts store and pissing them off and ordering or returning your old gas caps and getting refund. Because they get pissed off that if you return it more than twice, they're not going to give you another one. You might as well ask for a refund, but I like AC Delco brand because they seem to work good all the time. When I first had a gas cap issue, but it was my charcoal canister, and it was good. It still is good. Everything's new. All the sensors and everything. So I'm thinking that maybe this one is starting to wear in the, in the, the seal, but this one's just shit. I, I really think stamp brands are not very good. They claim that they work, but I've always had problems. It was the only one I could get at the time. But they say, oh, this is all thing we sell. No, it's not. I looked online on the, for that store in that city. They sell four different types of stamp brand ones but no other brands that's probably what they mean they only carry one type it's probably the brand but they carry four different stamp brands but they want but the prices are just like a dollar or two higher than this one this was like the 16.99 one so i'm going to take it back and use the original but i'm going to test it tomorrow to be sure that's the problem but um i hope this video helps on the gas cap issue on the 2006 chevy hhr this may also be a problem with up to the 2006 to 2011 models since they're the same motors. If you're having a gas cap issue, you can always try replacing it with AC Delco brand or Dorman. I've had better luck with AC Delco. I had, I've had good luck with Dorman, but not very good luck with Stamp Walker. I'm not for sure of if they even carry Walker in that brand. Uh, just be aware of what gas caps you buy for certain cars. Especially on Chevys, because Chevys we know are very sensitive to certain aftermarket parts, and you got to spend like thirty, forty dollars to get a very good brand part for it to work correctly. I know that because I've been through it plenty of times in my life and had better luck with the more expensive parts. Or you can also go to Amazon and you can also buy the original parts, like AC Delco, cheaper than what you can go to auto parts stores sometimes. Uh, well, here's the part number again. So if a rally tries to sit there and tell you one thing, then you have the part number to prove it. If you've lost your receipt and you lost your box, but you have the same gas cap as I do, here's proof of your part number just in case they ask you. This will also help you out. Alright, I hope you all like the video. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any comments, feel free to comment. And you all have a great one.